Hare Krishna, my name is Manisha Mahendra Pajapati. I'm studying in Standard 9. The name of my school is Shalendra Education Society. Today I'm going to speak an Antalila of Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. The name of my topic is the Abhir Bhava of Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, which we are going to see through the story in which Narasimhanan Brahmachari brings Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to Bengal. One year, a nephew of Shivananda Singh named Srikanta Singh went alone to Jagannath Puri, being very eager to see Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. The Lord bestowed His causeless mercy upon Srikanta Singh and allowed him to remain in his association for about two months. Then, as Srikanta Singh was about to leave to Bengal, the Lord told him, Forbid the devotees to come here this year, for in the month of Pasha, I shall personally go to Bengal and meet them. Please inform Shivananda Singh that I will certainly visit his house and Ashya Jagadananda Pandita that I will accept his offerings of food. When Shikanta Sen returned home and delivered the Lord's message, all of the devotees were very pleased to hear this news. Advita Acharya had been just about to depart for Jagannathpur, along with the other devotees, but upon receiving the Lord's order, he desisted as did Shivananda Sen and Jagadananda Pandita. Finally, when the month of Pasha arrived, they collected all kinds of paraphernalia for the Lord's reception and every day they used to anxiously wait until evening for his arrival. But when the month almost ended without the Lord's coming, Shivananda Sen and Jagadan the Pandita became very morose. Then one day Nasiman Brahmachari came to Shivanand Sen's house. After being respectfully seated, Nasiman Brahmachari noticed a great unhappiness of the two devotees. He inquired, For what reason do I see that you are both so despondent? Shivanand Singh replied, Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu promised to come to my house this morning. Why has he not arrived? Then upon hearing this, Nasman Brahmachari said, Just be happy and rest assured. I shall bring Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu here three days from today. Shivanand Singh and Jagadananda Pandita were well aware of Nasman Brahmachari's great influence and that for the Lord, and thus they felt confident that his words were not true false. Actually, the original name of Narasimhanan Brahmachari was Pratyumna Brahmachari, and the name Narasimhanan was given to him by Lashi Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself. After meditating for two days, Narasimhanan informed Shivananda Singh that already brought Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to Panihati, and tomorrow at noon he will arrive at your home. Please bring all kinds of ingredients so that I can personally cook and offer food to the Lord. Rest assured that I am telling you the truth. Bring everything I ask for as quickly as possible because I wish to begin cooking immediately. Shivan Singh hastily procured everything that was requested of him. And early the next morning, Ms. Mandramuchal began cooking varieties of food. And upon finishing, he made three separate plates one for Lord Jagannath, one for Lord Narsimhadev, one for Lord Chaitanya Matra. Then, after putting the plates on the altar, Ms. Mandramuchal sat outside the temple door and he started meditating upon offering the food to the Lord. Then in his meditation, Narasimhan Brahmachari saw that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu quickly came. He sat down and he started eating all the three offerings and without leaving any remnants. Upon seeing this, Narasimhan Brahmachari was overwhelmed with transcendental ecstasy and tears flew profusely from his eyes. Nevertheless, he expressed this meaning by saying, My dear Lord, what are you doing? You are eating everyone's food. I know that you look identical to Lord Jagannath. So I have no objection in you eating his offerings of food. But why are you taking the food that was intended for Lord Narsimha Dev? I think that Lord Narsimha Dev desires to fast today. But if the master does not eat, then how will the servant continue to live? Although Pratimna Brahmachari felt great jubilation to see how Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was eating everything, he manifested disappointment just for the sake of Lord Narsimha Dev. Then, and being the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is identical with both Lord Jagannath and Lord Narasimha Dev. As, uh, and since Pradyumna Brahmachari was deeply eager to know this transcendental fact, the Lord explained it to him by this practical demonstration. Then after finishing all the three offerings, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu departed for Panihati. Then after some time when Shivananda Sen uh, met Narasimha and Brahmachari, he asked him, Why are you expressing such disappointment? What happened? The Narasimhan Brahmachari replied, Just look at the behavior of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. For he alone has eaten all the offerings and done it for all the three deities. 
Now, as a result, Lord Jagannath and Lord Narasimha Dev remain fasting. Upon hearing this, Shivan Singh was not sure whether Narasimha and Brahmacharya's explanation was an expression of ecstatic love towards the car or whether it was factual. Then, while Shivan Singh was just perplexed and was thinking, Narasimha and Brahmacharya ordered him, Bring more food so that I can once again cook for Lord Narasimha Dev. Shivan Singh quickly brought more ingredients and so Narasimha and Brahmacharya once again cooked and offer food to Lord Narasimha Dev. Then, uh, the next year, Shivan Singh went to Jagannath Puri as usual. Then one day, by praising the transcendental qualities of Padyumna Brahmachari in presence of all the devotees, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Last year, I went to Bengal. There, Ms. Manand offered me varieties of food. I must admit that never before I tasted such nice, delicious sweets and vegetables. I must admit that everything was very delicious. Upon hearing this, all of the devotees were struck with wonder. And, Shivan, and through this, Shivan Singh came to know that the incident which Nisman Brahmachari was talking about had actually occurred. Moral of the story Prema Vasha Gaura Prabhu Tahan Prema Uttama Prema Vasha Hana Taha Vena Darshana Lord Karasindra is greatly influenced by the love of his pure devotees, and therefore, wherever there is pure devotion to the Lord, the Lord Himself, subject by such love, appears and his devotees see him. And no one can estimate the limits of Lord Karanga's love. And being the supreme personality of Godhead, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is identical with both Lord Jagannath and Lord Narasimha Dev, as he is the source of all the incarnations. Thus, one who hears the above pastime can know about the transcendental opulence of the Lord. Gauranga